the master, or this one guard of yours. There is only one God. There is no God but God. And my family is the messenger of God. Protect the prophet! It's actually College of Prayer, you know. Initially, before I started reacting to Islamic videos, I've read a lot about Islam. Being an ex-seminarian in the seminary, we study Islam. That's the truth. People at home don't know that. People in the church, sitting at the of the church, don't know that Catholic priests study Islam or Catholic seminarians study Islam or know much about Islam. But it seems this, there are selective things they teach us. One is that Islam is racist. Initially, I see Islam as very racist. Sometimes when I chat with my friends on um, our Open Minded Christian Show Instagram page, ah, come on, I do ask them, are you sure that Muhammad wasn't racist? Yes, obviously Muhammad is white. He can be categorized as a Caucasian in the modern world. So, but are you sure he's not a racist? And each time I raise this concern, they refer me to Bilal bin Rabah, telling me that he was one of the companions of, you know, uh, the Prophet Muhammad. And that's the reason why I'm reacting to this. Number two is that I am black and I want to be comfortable with any religion that promotes, you know, equality of all human beings. We are equal, there's no difference here. Africa is underdeveloped. But come to think of it, in the eyes of the Lord, we are one. In the eyes of God, we are united. We are just as equal as anyone. And just like since I opened this channel, the love that Muslims have been showering on me, that's why, that's why they thought I'm not white. I'm not white. I'm black. I'm from Africa. But the kind of love I've been receiving in this channel told me something, and that is that Muslims don't discriminate. So this video has kept it all. If the Prophet himself would ask Bilal bin Raba to go recite a prayer for the whole people, yeah, for the whole people who were considered as white, then it means the Prophet is the greatest anti-racist. The lessons I would want all of us to learn is that no matter what, hold on to your faith and do not drop it because someone is threatening you. Even if someone asks me not to make this video, I'm not going to stop because my life is mine. 
I will never stop. Even with the bad comments I see on YouTube every day, I assure you, I'm not going to leave this channel. I'm not going to leave you. If you're a subscriber to this channel, be confident that I'm very, very sincere. And when I find the truth, when I'm convinced about Islam, you will watch me revert to Islam. Pray for me. Give me links of works to read. And of course, help me by connecting me with the right people that could help me to learn more about Islam. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate you each time you join me to react to this video. Thank you. If this is the first time you're joining, hit the red subscription button and be part of the family. Thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye. And when you do that, <laughs> it takes a lot of courage to stand up for yourself in those type of situations. So him standing up for himself is so great, is so amazing. And of course, he, he got rewarded at the end. You know, he stood out amongst all the crowd. He was the only person who was recognized for his voice. And from there, he began to do the azan. So, hmm. And I remember just about a week ago or so, I came across um, something to do with slavery and Islam. And I was like, slavery, um, Islam condos slavery. I was shocked. I was like, what? Because the only religion that I know that condones slavery is Christianity. And what does Christianity do? It tells you, you are allowed to beat your slaves as long as they don't die. And when I read the Quran, I come out, I, I've come across a few uh, verses that basically state that, you know, you should treat your slaves the same or yeah you should treat your sl your slaves the same or if you have something that you can give to your slave like give you know you'll be rewarded for it and all that stuff so you know when you see these things and it's like wow and then you come across the story of Bilal who is a slave and then becomes the first person to do the azan and from there the azan has been going on so see the movement that he has created see how amazing he has turned out a slave who was beaten up for standing up for himself and standing up for god very difficult especially when you're in such situations to say for example sometimes when i see all these things that's going on in a third world um, muslim countries i'm like why don't they just say they are muslims um why don't they just say they are from a different religion try to save themselves and now i i realize how ignorant and how stupid and how silly mental my mentality was because no matter what when you are put under pressure when you're put in front of people stand up for your religion stand up for god stand up for your beliefs yeah don't try to hide away from it because you fear that you're going to die now, I remember a verse in the Quran states that whoever dies as a consequence of defending Allah or defending God gets an automatic pass to heaven. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. I read that myself in the Quran when I was reading it. I read it somewhere and I was like, it's either in chapter, it's somewhere, probably, most likely in chapter three, most likely somewhere in chapter three. And I was like, wow. This is so touching and this is so amazing. Like standing up and defending God or standing up and defending Allah, you get rewarded for. And now I'm just like, I was so stupid to think that way. I honestly remember, I was like, why don't they, like the people that are getting put in concentration camps and all that stuff. I was like, why don't they just um, say that they are Christians or say that they are from a different religion, but once they've done that and they're set free they go back to defend to um being muslim or being whatever religion i was like why don't they just do that so that they don't get put in these concentration camps and now i look back and i'm like why did i think that way why did i think that way god is going to punish you for denying him so yeah the story of Bilal is very, very interesting and very touching indeed. I knew that he was a slave and yeah, but I didn't know that this was what led to the Azan or what led to 
his faith let's say but um thank you all so much for tuning in today i hope you guys learned something new if you didn't i certainly got to learn a bit more about bilal so yeah thank you all so much and i'll see you guys in the next video please don't forget to like comment share and please do not forget to subscribe thank you all and take good care of yourselves Get down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the video. Also, if you got a video you want me to react to, get down in the comment section. Let me know and I will get to it. Wow. So, I, was, I it, the well, this clip, this video clip we just watched, it jumped around a lot. Um, so, at the beginning, they wanted him to um, whip the guy. But the, I, I'm thinking this is a movie. I need to watch the movie. So, I need to figure out the, the name of this whole entire movie so I can watch it. I'm thinking it is... Okay, maybe this was like a, just a preview Prophet Muhammad. But for some reason, he did not whip him. Then he got he got the punishment, and he he was getting whipped. And then they switched over again, and they made him sing. Uh, it was, I mean, not sing, but bring the people forward using his voice as you know. So it's, it was a lot, man. Let me know anything that I missed. Get down in the comment section. Enlighten me. And also the other um, subscribers here on the channel that are not Muslim can give you enlightened as well. So get down in the comment section, let us know. And I will see you all tomorrow. Why? Because I post videos every day. So please take care. Stay safe. A lot of people that will doubt you will try to conform you to their ways of living. They will try to tell you whatever you're doing is wrong and whatever, right? There's always a good and evil in the world. And I'm really glad for Bilal that he chose to believe in, in, in Allah. He chose to believe that there's only one God, even if he went through all those uh, stuff. That's really beautiful. It's a beautiful outcome despite the struggles that he went through so this is a nice uh short um, uh video for us to kind of like look into i would have loved to see more actually um i don't know i think it's a movie let me know what movie this is if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already leave in the comment section down below what other videos like to react to the original link of this video will be in the description box down below so that's my social media link so guys i'll see you in the next video bye Wow, thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. You see the way the video was going. Uh, I think this is slave, and the people they buy the slave, and the people or they live with the slave people all the time, they treat the slave like I don't know what can I say, but we're supposed to remember. All of us we came from one God and we returned to him so there was nothing you can say I'm the king I'm the queen I'm the prince I'm the this I'm this 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 whatever you are it's nothing all people are equal and we remain to be equal because the God creates us from one things then we end from one thing and clay and we'll be back to the clay the same same so those no one came from the iron came from the gold it came from nothing all we came from one thing and i'm sure we will go back the same thing thank you very much guys i know this video uh, it teach us many things we didn't know before like uh, this guy bilal we didn't know him so it's a part of our lesson and we try to learn more, 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 more. So please and please, if you have your video, you want me to react for you, please go to the conversation, get down and I will check it. And don't forget to subscribe our channel, to turn on your notification bell for more updated video. And you can follow me in my Instagram, which is Ali Bolton TV. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye. I'm also speechless, but what I've learned, um, it does not take someone to be rich to have a good heart. You can be whatever you are and, or we can be whatever we are and we have a good heart that feels sorry for others. Just look at Bilal, Bilal, he was just a slave and he was ordered to flog the other man but he 
he refused because he's God fearing. Alhamdulillah. So, a big lesson is to be humble, to be humble and calm in whatever situation. And he did the other one that we are doing now to call people for prayers, alhamdulillah. With that being said, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Press the notification bell and share the video. See you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.